Hello everybody, we've got a new update from the Old School RuneScape team involving farming and World Switch tweaks. So this week in Old School, they've got a whole bunch of farming tweaks as well as a few changes to the recently released World Switcher. They've also got a new Summer Special available through Bonds. So let's get into the details of this update, starting off with farming changes. So we're starting to get some more left-click options with farming. In order to make farming just a little bit more intuitive, every single farming patch now has the following left-click options. Break when they need weeding, clear when dead or a stump, prune or cure when diseased, and clear on fully grown bushes with no fruit left. Next, we've got noting weeds. Tall leprechauns are now happy to exchange your inventory filling weeds for banknotes. This should make it a little easier to prevent your inventory overflowing when on a farming run. Next, examining compost bins. When examining compost bins, rather than the same message every time, you will now see information about the contents of the bin. Depending on whether the contents of the compost is rotting, has finished rotting, items are being put in, or items are being taken out, the examine message will change to describe the state of the bin and what's inside of it. And we've got the Falador Tool Leprechaun. The Tool Leprechaun at the farming patch just south of Falador has been moved slightly to be closer to where players are when using the farming patch. Moving on, we've got the World Switcher tweaks. They've made some tweaks to the recently added World Switcher based on the feedback from the old school community since it was released. The positions of the button used to access the World Switcher and the logout button have been switched, and the colour of the World Switcher button has been changed to grey. This change is based on a fair amount of feedback from the old school community and should make the difference between the two buttons a bit more distinct. It's now possible to permanently dismiss the menu that asks if you really wish to switch worlds. Even if this menu is permanently dismissed, the warning will still appear when attempting to hop to a PvP world. The world that you are on will now be written on the world switcher list in a darker grey so you are less likely to click it and the right click to set favourite message is now vertically centred if you haven't set any favourite worlds. They've had a lot of other promising suggestions too, such as showing the number of players on each world, showing your ping, keeping your pin unlocked as you switch and making the scroll bar preserve its position. They'd very much like to add all these features in the future, however since it will require some game engine work they'd have to put them aside while the development of resizable mode is still ongoing. Moving on we've got the Summer Special Bond Package. When buying membership through Membership Bonds, the Summer Special is now available. 3 months of membership for 5 bonds. Your bonds can be used to redeem the Summer Special offer through the bond interface as seen in this image. Where all you have to do is click the Summer Special as opposed to your regular 14, 29 or 45 days. So this update is in line with the Summer Special Package that RS3 are doing. To me, if you're using Membership Bonds, I think this is a great way to get your membership. However, it could be a little bit expensive with both in-game and real-life money. However, if you want to get your membership with real money, it's still cheaper just to get your pure membership. And finally, in other news, the monocle is now named correctly. They've corrected the payment for redberry bushes in the farming skill guide. The Falador Shield 2 will no longer state you have full prayer points when trying to recharge unless they are actually full. You are now prompted with a warning when mounting a Cowfight Queen or King Black Dragon Head. They've added a Members World check to the Edgeville Lever. West Ardoin citizens no longer say they're giving you 100 death runes if they're actually going to give you 200. And the Blast Furnace Foreman and Ordan are no longer obscured by other players standing on top of them. Seems like a nice update today. The farming tweaks are really nice. I've kind of been waiting for some kind of left -click option because having to click on your tool and then the patch has been a real pain, especially when it's busy in the area. However, the nostalgic part of me is feeling sad that we're losing that small old school feature. It's nice that we've had a few world switcher updates. I've not been on too much since we got it, but it's been a bit of a pain trying to check which button is the logout button and which button is the world switcher. And finally, there's a the membership bond. Part of me is thinking, oh no, it's just microtransactions and they're just pushing offers on us. But another part of me is thinking it's a really good offer if you are buying your membership with bonds. If you want to discuss this update, please go on the forums or in my comments below. If you want the news on a small update they did to the game, please click here for the temporary death mechanic changes. And if you want to watch the previous update to the game, please click here for the world switcher and ring of the gods imbued. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and share, and if you want to keep up to date with the old school runescape updates, death blocks and polls, please subscribe. I've been Lewis, thanks for watching, goodbye.